What I'm going to show you is to install the AdventureWorks MDF database. And first of all, we need to download it. And if you go into your MTA in databases and go to lesson three and scroll down to your video tutorials, and you'll see the link in here, download AdventureWorks. So I'm just going to open in a new tab just so we can flick back and forwards. And here it is, and I'll just choose the first one. And I'll just open it up with WinZip. And open with WinZip. And I'm not going to buy it. I'm going to need the evaluation version. If I wait for a few seconds, there it is. And as the data file, all right, MDF file, and also the log file. So I've just selected them both and go to extract. So I'm going to store them in my C drive. So if I go C, I created a folder called tasks, database, and I'll just say unzip. And there it is there, the data file and the log file as well. We need both of those. So if I just close those again, and now we're going to open up SQL Server 2012, which I've installed. And here it is. This is the application. But we have to right click and go run as administrator. So don't you, you aren't always running it as administrator if you just go open and say yes. Just a quirk of Windows 7. So this is a, a Windows client, and this is the server that I set up when I installed it. I'm just going to connect to the server. Okay, so what have I got in here already? Uh, I have my super database, which I created originally, and you could do the same, new database. But what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to attach an existing database. So if I just go add, and I scroll to C, task database there it is just go open okay and then we just go open and now you have adventure works so just have a look at the tables that are in there okay lots of tables for us to play with adventure is great okay thank you